everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout of the day. Today I am joined by my sister Kristen who is less than two months away from her wedding now. She has been coming since she was six months out to work out with us. She shared a few workouts so I'm happy to have her back. Um, today we are doing an interval workout. I have my timer set for 15 rounds of 20 seconds of cardio, 50 seconds of max reps. So we're going to be doing ropeless skipping or jumping in between each exercise. You can also choose to do high knees if that's your preference. So we're gonna start with the skipping and then we're gonna go into frog pop-ups. You ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> I started doing high knees. So you're gonna jump just like you would with the jump rope. Only we don't have a rope to hit each other with. <laughs> okay, frog pop-up, plank position. Jump the feet forward, lift the hands. Jump it back to plank. Good job. Jump rope. Make sure you're breathing. Okay, cross leg hip thrust. Sit on the mat, hands on the floor. Cross your right leg over. You're gonna bring it out to the side. Lift. It doesn't matter which leg you do first. So there you go. Lift the hips as high as you can and pull the core in. Good job. Ropeless jumping. So we're going to do the cross leg hip thrust on the other side. Okay. So same thing with the other leg. Cross, bring it out, together, lift. Those hips high. Good. Ropeless jumping. So next we're going to go into side plank leg lift, so back onto our mat. Come down, lift the top leg. Lift, down, lift. Knee faces forward while you lift the leg.
Okay, ropeless jumping and then on to the other side. Doing a good job, Kristen. Okay, side plank leg lift, other side. So your head will be down that way. <laughs> Very good. We're doing opposite, so it's harder to keep track of. Remember, keep that knee facing forward, not up toward the ceiling. Okay, ropeless jumping. Next, we're going to have a curtsy lunge kick. Okay, we're going to start by kicking our right foot. So step back toward the left corner. Good. And kick. Right back to it. And you can either step your feet together in between and then step back or step straight back into it. Jump rope. Then same thing with the other leg. Good job. Okay, left leg steps back and kick at that angle. Kristen picked up the pace on me. <laughs> Keep breathing. Less than 10 seconds left. Okay, jump rope. You can always take a sip of water anytime you need it. And then come right back to it when you're ready. We have snow angels next. Okay. We're going to lay down. Core pulls in tight. Arms and legs reach. We're going to Pretend like we're making a snow angel while keeping our shoulders, arms, and legs off the floor. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All ankle. Good job. Keep breathing. If you need to rest, take a rest and then go right back to it. Okay, ropeless jumping. Next we have a tricep heel press. You can do it either from the plank position or from a quadruped position on your hands and knees. 
Good job. So our hands and knees, it's gonna look like this. Core tight, foot flex, press the heel to the ceiling. Try not to let your low back move. If you're doing it from a plank, you're gonna go forearm plank and same movement. Try and keep that back still. Core tight. Press that heel up. And breathe. Okay, ropeless jumping, and then on to the other side. Okay, other side, so left leg lifting this side, or whatever side you can do first. Core tight, press that heel up. Good job, Kristen. So when you press the heel, you should feel your glutes and your lower part of your butt and your hamstring working. Core stays tight to support your back. Ten seconds left. Okay, rope plus jumping. You could always transition to high knees if you want to switch it up. Next, we're going to have plank to lunge reach. We'll just angle a little bit. So plank position. We're starting with the right foot. So right foot, lift, plank, <clears throat> lift. Breathing and keep moving. Okay, ropeless jumping, and then on to the other side. Okay, other side, plank position, left foot steps this time. When you hit your plank, pull that core in tight. Good job, Kristen. Ropeless jumping. Only three exercises left. Next we have goddess reach, right side. Feet go wide, core tight. We're gonna squat and reach. Squat, stay to the same side. Good job, beautiful form. Try and get 
as close to parallel in your squat as you can, keeping the chest lifted. jumping and then got his reach left. Five seconds left. Okay, got his reach left, same thing. Core tight, squat, reach it left. Pressing outward, don't let them collapse in. Ten seconds. Okay, last round of ropeless jumping. And then one more exercise. Keep breathing, push yourself through it. Boat to table. Sit on your butt for this one. We're gonna lift, reach toward the toes or reach toward the knees. Plant the feet and hands, lift, like we did in the thrust. Lift, core pulls tight, hips lift high. Good job, keep breathing. Last exercise, guys, to so push through it. Ah, how do you feel? I feel good. Good. She did awesome. Okay, guys. So, whoop, as always, the workout breakdown will be on my blog, benderfitness.com, along with how many times we go through it, all the information you need to know to do this workout at home. So check it out, benderfitness.com. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you. And we will see you later. Have a good night.